Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I have a special message for you that will hit you. Are you ready for the upcoming changes in your life? You're entering into a season where everything works out for you in your favor. Right on time, every time. And I want you to remind yourself that. Trust and let go of the anchors that hold you back to where you don't belong anymore. Because there's a bright future in front of you, deep in the unknown, which is much more exciting than the past. And you know that baby steps of trust will get you there. If you want to design a plan, if you want to write some goals, if you have a vision for the future, trust is the most important thing to, to have and trust is something we build. So today we'll be talking about few important steps that often brings us bring us some powerful insights which we all know which we all need on our path in order to make things happen. And sometimes you know in messages like this few words may hit us so strongly that we take the next steps in our life. And sometimes those are reminders. We already know them. We've heard them before. We know what we need to do, but we get distracted or we fall into lower emotional states and suddenly nothing uh, from that list, lists of goals or nothing from that vision from the future inspire us anymore. And that's where usually we manifest some interesting words which hit us and get us back into this moment where we realize once again why we are here at the first place and what's our mission what we want to do with our lives and you know what we want to bring out what we want to express so my friends the first thing that i want to remind you with this message is that things often don't work as we want but they always happen exactly as they need to to make us who we want to be and to me this is such an important reminder that i always remind myself i always remind myself that when i recognize that something in my life didn't happen uh, the way I wanted it to be, I always remind myself, what's the lesson? Like, what can I learn from here? Because that's what is making us, right? If life is made from tiny little moments and each moment we are making certain choices, we are making certain decisions, the choices are always making results and that's what is building our character, that's what is making us. So if we recognize that each moment is kind of building our character, then it's an important reminder to recognize that everything is happening for our greater good, for our greater evolution. But most people don't move with that evolution because they stay in the past. And they're worrying, oh, I wanted to make it better. I wanted to express myself differently back at that time. I could say or use different words back at that time. I could be different back there and so on. But if we say thank you for the lessons, if we look into our past and we say, well, we did the best we could. We did the best we could at that time. If we knew how to do it differently or how to do it better, we would. But... We had no idea or back just at that moment, we were not inspired to, to use different words, to use different ways of expression or to do things differently. We did how we were trained to do them or how we are used to do things. And there's nothing wrong with that. We are learning and, and the big purpose of life is to learn, to grow and to, to recognize the, the experiences and lessons in those experiences. So once we start realizing those things, it's much, the manifestation starts happening much faster and that's where you become who you want to be. So things often don't work as we want them 
but they always happen the way they need to happen so you can become who you want to be faster you will see the lessons in your life faster you will become the version of yourself you want to be because you're always introduced to the lessons you need to learn on your life life's path so pay attention to that my friends and never pull yourself down when things don't work the way you want them eventually what you want will find you if what you want you know if your desires are coming from your heart if you know that they are coming from that uh, potential future which is an expression of fulfillment they will find you they will come to you but before you get there you need to become a version that will be able to have those things and that's why you are exposed to the lessons and to the challenges and to what we call hard moments so we can become who we want to be the second reminder i want to give you is to Eliminate distraction so we can stay connected to your inner guidance and I call that inner guidance a divine compass because deep in the quietness there's always a sense of direction there's always a sense which is telling us uh, what we feel the most uh, naturally drawn to you know what's the thing we we truly love to do or we are craving uh, doing What's the thing that feel the most that feels the most natural for us or to us? And often people don't sense that guidance because they are so distracted. And usually we like to distract ourselves because when we tend to step or tap into our inner quietness, we recognize so many unpleasant thoughts, we recognize so many unpleasant beliefs and maybe concepts we hold of ourselves to. Then, of course, we recognize some unpleasant memories from the past, and we think those thoughts, beliefs, and, and, and memories are unpleasant, but what's actually, what actually feels unpleasant is the emotion that the thoughts and fields of thoughts are attached to. So once we recognize that a certain memory is triggering a certain emotion which may feel unpleasant, we can deal with it. We can find the truth in that memory because sometimes when something is... Um, when, when we can't understand something from the past, we make up a story and that story may may trigger some unpleasant emotions. That's why it's so important sometimes to reflect our past and to find the truth and greater meaning in why something happened the way it happened because it gets us back to the first thing that everything, everything in our lives happened the way it, it needs to happen. So we become who we want and who we need to be. So even if we go into our past and we maybe maybe you went through really really hard moments but at some point if not already at some point in the future you will feel so blessed that you went through it because just because of those events you're now able to express yourself fully you're now able to help somebody who is dealing with maybe similar challenges or similar emotions which may be much harder to overcome so it is a blessing to to go through hard moments but usually if we find the meaning of or the value of that blessing once we overcome a certain emotion that's why emotional healing is so important and and finding our wounds from the past and dealing with it and every single day truly working on on that healing until we recognize that that uh, we appreciate what happened we appreciate what we went through once you get to the point where you can express gratitude honest gratitude for what happened in your life that's where you know that the healing uh, took place and your light is now brighter so my friends baby steps will always work 
on that process. The third reminder I want to give you today is to follow the joy and you will always meet your natural talents. So on the soul level, we are all naturally talented for something because that's why we came here. We came here with Li with many different lifetimes of experiences. Those are our natural talents. Those are the, you know, the, the natural mechanisms we, we brought to, to this world. We, we are here, we, we have them within. And by following joy, by doing the things we naturally feel joyful about, like for me, it's creative expression. It can be through painting. It can be through making these videos. It can be through sports. It can be whatever is resonating with me. If I feel joy for doing that, I will do that. And I've recognized in my life that the things I feel the most joy for, um, I'm doing them really naturally, like I'm learning the skill much faster than for the things I don't feel so much joy. Which doesn't mean that we shouldn't do things we are not joyful about, because sometimes we just need to do them. But if we truly focus to what brings us the most joy, we'll always meet our natural talents. And we will recognize when we're joyful about something, learning the skill becomes really easy. And we also recognize that the time to gain a certain skill is much shorter. It's like we would be bending the time and space. And that's where we start shifting our lives much, much faster because joy, the expression of joy, effects on the sensation of time. Actually, that sensation of joy, the sensation of love, effects so much on how we sense time. That's why when we are joyful about something, when we're in love uh, with doing something, we could do it all day long and it would feel like we were doing that for a few hours or even less. So it's really magic in finding something we are joyful about and doing that more often. It will also awaken our minds it will make us more focused, more creative, more passionate, uh, more grounded. And again, our light will become stronger because suddenly, you know, all the depression and sadness will just disappear because there's no place for that in joy. And it doesn't mean that we should be joyful all the time. Of course, we experience sadness, we experience anger, we may experience even depression. But we, it's much easier to get back on track. It's much easier to get back to ourselves because we have a certain uh, meaning. We have a certain way to get back to, to that fire, to that inspiration, to that joy. So find the things you love to do. Find the things you feel joyful about and you will meet your natural talents. Because that, that's actually a law of nature. Joy is that sensation which brings us back to the soul. That's why music which inspires you or which brings you that sensation of joy is always like a song for the soul and you, you feel like your soul would be dancing. The fourth reminder I want to give you here is to take care of your body and your mind will stay positive, productive and creative. This is something we often forget to take care of our bodies. It's a, a self-care, it's a self-love, but also activity, working out, doing yoga, doing Tai Chi, if that resonates with you, going outside for a walk, for a run, uh, again, doing something which brings you joy, taking care of your body, also nutrition, water, our bodies are are like 75% made out of water. And if we're not uh, drinking enough of it, we may feel the lack of energy. We may feel like something is missing, like something is wrong. So take care of your body and your mind will stay more positive, more positively productive and more creative. That's uh, the coherence which takes place when we take care of our bodies and we take care of our spirits. 
right? So we we always take care of that beautiful balance and later we will talk about this. So if you will take care of your body every single day, do something for you, do something for your physical self, like for an animal body, do something for that. Take care of the nutrition, take care to stay active. Like for me, I found out I need to be active. I love working out. I love going outside on my bike, spending a lot of time in nature. I need to spend a lot of time in nature, really. Because when I'm painting, I'm usually sitting down and I'm sitting down a lot because of that. And you know, while painting, my body is in certain positions which are not so pleasant often. But of course, because all my focus is in that uh, creative expression i often forget about my body during painting but after it i sense certain tension in my muscles or even my spine or something like that and i need to work out i need to be outside as well i need to do things i need to be active i i I need to stretch and i love doing that and often we don't even realize how much we love doing something until we create that momentum at, for example, at working out, at uh, going frequently for a run or for um, some cycling or swimming or whatever you prefer, maybe hiking in the mountains and experiencing that uh, wise energy of the top of the mountains. Whatever it is, take care of that. And you will recognize that that your mind will naturally become more positive. You will naturally plug yourself to more positive thoughts, which will awaken and trigger more positive emotions. And suddenly you will feel better because we all know that each thought triggers emotion. And more we are thinking certain thoughts, more of those equal uh, emotions we will experience. So when we are more active, not overactive, but just enough effective. That's again something where we need to find balance. But when we take more care for our bodies, it's much, much easier to stay positive and to stay creative. Actually, most of my creativity comes from doing workouts outside in the nature, truly. Or also meditating outside in the nature. Most of the creativity comes to me outside. So there is magic in nature, like a a beautiful support, which is always there for us and it's free. So it's amazing, my friends. The fifth reminder I want to give you that every single day, check up on your spirit to see if you're in balance with your inner and outer self. This is something I mentioned before. So what it means to be in balance with your inner and outer self. If our outer self is our physical expression, our physical body, our inner self is our spirit, soul, and also the way we communicate with ourselves, our inner dialogue. So we need to take care that everything is in beautiful coherence, that we are honest with ourselves, that we are true to ourselves. that we pay attention to our emotions, to our energy body, to our heart, how we feel right at this moment. Do we need something? Do we lack something? And and that's what self-care, right? To to also take care of ourselves and to check up if, if something is missing, if we're lacking something like some energy, if we need to take more time for ourselves, if we need to take a break in our lives or if we need to become more productive. And then look outside of you. Are you an expression of who you want to be? Are you doing what you're saying that you will do? Have you stopped doing what you said that you don't want to do anymore? And aligning your actions with your intentions and building habits out of your honest and heartfelt intentions. And habit is built by consistent repetition of a certain action, right? So when we become more true to ourselves and more honest with ourselves, we will never want to do anymore something that is not in alignment with us. 
That's where we start building new habits, which are in a greater alignment and which are resonating more with who we truly are. So always check up on your spirit to see if you are in balance with your inner and outer self. Because once you are in balance, your channel will be open. Your connection with your higher self will be stronger and you will always find a solution to what you're you're dealing with so it will feel like the lessons are coming much faster to you your energy is stronger you feel happier you feel more aligned and everything feels just much better the sixth and the last reminder for today that may hit you is that failure what we call failure is actually the unborn success you know that when we fail we learn something new And when we learn something new, we grow, and when we grow, we change, and when we change, also our external life will change. If that growth is positive, the change will be positive. And my friends, that's the key to manifestation. Failing at something is the key for manifestation. Because, you know, if we want to be good at something, we firstly need to be bad at doing that, right? And that's how we eventually become much better at it. So if you want to become good at manifesting something you want, you firstly become bad at doing that. You know, if you want to become a good artist, firstly, start. And when you will start, you will see that you will fail often. I failed so many times, so many canvases were like just to throw it away or to overpaint them and it's okay it's a pa- it's a part of the process of growth of evolution and self research so i would never be able to paint what i'm painting now if i would not fail so so often that's where we build a certain work ethic which helps us to deal with the what we call failures the unborn success And if we keep up with that, eventually we will succeed at it. And then we set some higher goals. And again, we challenge ourselves to see how far we can push our talents and how well can we express what we actually feel within ourselves. So that great balance can take place once again of inner and outer self. So my friends, this is it for today. I hope it may help you on your path that it can inspire you to to do what you feel that um, you need to do in your life. So my friends, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Today I'm sharing with you, of course, the painting Transcendence because it is all about self-transcendence to the next level. And always remind yourself each day that you're entering into a season or you've already entered into the season where everything works out for you always remind yourself that everything works out for me in my favor right on time every time and build trust on that by consistent repetition build trust on that and baby steps will get you to where you want to be where you feel that you need to be where you sense that your future self is already there baby steps will get you there so my friends thanks for watching thanks for being a part of this beautiful appreciative attract passion community i love you all and i'm sending you all lots of love blessings and power thanks for supporting my art in my etsy shop i draw my passion you're all truly appreciated if you need some daily reminders go and check out my instagram page attract passion where i'm sharing daily messages daily reminders and my other instagram page where i'm sharing my art i draw my passion see you there my friends until next time one love